No more bullshit, get the game It's not an option, you hit with shame My Peter Bill, stay switching lanes Time to light it up, time to make your thing My Jake break, no mistake Can feel it move, no earthquake My big body, way too hot He got a cute girl, be riding shoddy Okay guys, how you doing? It's um, Monday night and it's late, but I want to get a video out for you because I think this one's going to be really in important. I had a little bit of an interesting conversation with a fella down at the local Wawa. I ran into a driver that I knew that's, he's a, he's a real well-respected driver. I've seen him, I can't tell you how many years driving locally. I said to him, I said, hey, you got a T8? He says, yeah. And I said, well, what's your front axle weight? I noticed you got different size tires than I do. He says, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what my front axle rating is. And it it was like an epiphany. I said, I gotta put this video out for you guys. I I I I'm telling you, this is an important video for you. I'm excited to share my information with you and what I think you could use if anyone's not familiar with going over scales and understanding uh, axle weight. When you spec a truck, you have to spec your front axle and all your other axles. And the reason I say other axles is because you might or may or may not have a lift and you might have a, a, a tandem or a single axle, okay? In your state, you can only have so much total weight for all your axles. And it's important to spec your truck appropriately for your state. So, I'm, and I'm not going to go in all the states, but I'm just going to go in Pennsylvania and I'm going to go fast, like I said, and concise. For my T370, I have... A 16,000 pound front, 22 intermediate, and 22 rear. So 16,000 pounds, 22,000 pounds, and 22,000 pounds. Each axle is going to have a maximum allowable weight that you're allowed to drive over the road with. So although yet your axle is rated for 22,000 pounds, that doesn't mean you're legal in your state at 22,000 pounds. So do the research and find out what the axles are rated in your um, in your state. This is a basic going over the scale, how to go over the scale. That's all I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to talk about bridge laws. I'm not going to talk about if you live in different states. There's a lot of things to understand when it comes to axle weight. I'm just talking about one thing, and that's when you go over your scale, how to find out what your weight is at that particular moment or very close. It's not going to be exact, but how to go over the scale and understand at least really pretty close what your weights are on your axle, okay? Let's say you're going down the street and you're like, boy, this truck feels a little heavy. And you get to the dump and you're, you want to know, were you legal that day or that moment? Well, you should always be legal, but were you, were you, right? So you pull over the scale and the front axle is going to give you a weight. And here in this particular, it's not my truck, in this particular um, scenario, it's 13,500 pounds. And you're like, well, let me get on the scale. Well, slow down. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna take your next axle, whether it's a, it's a you have a, a lift axle, or if you just have a tandem. In this case, there's a lift axle, but it's not down. And you pull over to the scale. In this case, it's 26,040 pounds. I have to put my glasses on. 26,040 pounds, okay? Great, so now you know your combined weight of your front and your mid axle, right? So you know your front axle was 13,500 pounds. You subtract 13,000 from 26 and you know that your, your mid axle has 20, 12,540 pounds. Great, so now you know your mid axle is legal because it's rated for, in let's say 22,000 pounds, you're under 22,000 pounds. Then you pull on and now you get your, your your total weight. That's what everybody's excited to get anyway. And in this case, it's 39,860. Then you just subtract your front, your mid, and now you have your weight of your rear axle. Okay. Now there's a lot of reasons why you want to do this. Number one, you want to make sure you're legal. And two, you want to make sure you don't hurt your truck. Let's say all your, um, you're hauling stones and they were loading them from the rear and all your weight was on your aft axle or your back or rear axle. In, in aviation, you call it aft, right? So you have all your weight in the, in, the, in the rear axle. You could actually blow your axle out and vice versa. Let's say you have everything too far forward. You could blow out your front axle. 
So it's real important that you understand axle weight and how you're loading it because what that'll do is that'll create some creative juices then you'll take it to the next level and you'll just start trying to learn bridge laws and maybe the, there's other laws in your state. I know in Arizona, I think you're allowed to have up to like four or five axles. I, I, I've seen pictures where there's axles lined all the way down the truck. It's because it's unlimited, I'd imagine. I don't know, I don't live in those states, but I've seen um, videos where guys have like all these axles lined up. And you can do this with any truck. You could do it with a pickup truck. You could do it with um, trucks with trailers. Now that's another thing too. If you have a truck and you wanna know if your trailer's overweight, you could do that as well too. So you would take the trailer off your hitch. You put a scale under your tongue. That will give your weight, 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds, whatever it is. And then you would drive over the scale and then you would find out what's on those axles. So you add the tongue weight and you add the axle weight and that'll give you the total weight of your trailer. It's a little bit more complicated. You might not have an, a scale with you. You know, you didn't probably forgot your bathroom scale that day, but that's how you do it on a trailer. It's really super easy. It's easy to understand. It just takes one or two extra steps and then, and you got it all figured out. So the next time you go over to scale, just don't run over the scale. Try to get off the scale as fast as you can. Try to understand your scale weight. I think it's, I think it's worth the extra step, guys. Thanks for watching.